And I'm dead. We watch this movie before we, because what we do is we watch the movies and we don't read the backs or anything and then we like read them later, blah, blah, blah. Uh, maybe we should have read the back first this time, guys, because yeah, I don't, I didn't like this movie. I didn't like it either. I'd seen it before. <laughs> There's not really a whole lot of nuance to this film. It's just killer chasing after photographers and models and they kill them and that's it. The movie starts with a botched abortion and this woman dies from like a heart failure or something. Something happens and she's dead and you find out that Carlo is the one who got her pregnant and is trying to cover it. They never officially say it in the movie, but they have. It's it's totally Carlo. At the end of the movie, you find Carlo out. sleeps with almost every woman in the damn movie. Yeah, he's Carlo. A true player. He's, uh, a, he's a player. He's a player, and everybody's fine with it. The uh, the the Magda's fine with it. It's just sleazy guys. Sleazy, sleazy you're like this is for sure the killer. I mean, even the back of the movie says he's. This is a lot of females. It's probably him. No, <laughs> maybe they just put the his there to like fool. Fool, you fool. You fools. fool. There's not a single likable character in this movie. Everybody's sleazy. They all suck. Yeah, they, they all, all suck. suck. There's not a single bull. There's, there's not a single. There's not a single bull character one. who's like us. I can think of Magda. Then you think about the part when they're in the photo room and she comes in, and she starts taking off her clothes, and then she just sucks his dick. Yeah, she's nice. You think she puts out? Ask your wife, you jerk. Oh, uh, I can't remember the character's name, but it, he's uh, Gisela's husband. Creepy fat guy. We'll What's talk about name? creepy he's fat like, guy. There was no point to him being in the movie. No, but I liked his character in the scene. I didn't like his character's creep. There's a scene where he drives this model, her name is Doris, to his apartment or home, his home. Funny driving scene, too. It's all wacky. It's wacky. <laughs> And so they get there, and he gets her in there, and he's like, come on, have sex with me. Have sex with me, please. I'll do whatever you want. I'll give you, you want a million dollars? I'll give you a million dollars. Just have sex with me, please. I'll die. Just have sex with me. And she's like, all right, all right, because he's going to bash her. And then she lets him do it. And then he, he, can't he, can't, it. he can't get up. He can't do it. He has a problem. And uh, he starts crying. He starts so crying. crying, and then she starts comforting him. Yeah, she starts comforting him like he wasn't raping her. her. Like rapist. He's, yeah. he's, it's just so odd. He he show he shows her goodbye, and then goes to to like a closet area at the end of a hallway, and he's just looking at the. He's like, you, what does he say? He he's, pulls. He opens he pulls a drawer. The, he opens the drawer. He pulls out the sex doll. What he's like, say? you're the only one. And it's the best part of the movie. I feel like, even though it's effed up and disturbing, it just kind of provides a deeper narrative than everything else. That's gotta be my favorite part of the movie. Other than, of course, all the the naked females. Yeah. <laughs> I'm heterosexual. I'm sorry. But, yeah. Don't apologize, man. Don't apologize <laughs> for me. Don't is. apologize for who you are. It's out. He's a straight white man. Everybody kill him. Uh, like, there was a couple of pointless scenes. Like, the scene where the motorcyclist has to go and destroy the proof that they had gotten because they oh, did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Out, oh, yeah. And they took photos, right? But they're wearing the gear the entire time. They're wearing the helmet. They're wearing all the you letters. Still don't stuff. Know you don't know who they are. There was no reason for them to go to the studio to destroy that footage. There really wasn't. There wasn't. There's a part in this movie that's v v super Scooby Doo. <laughs> when the killer and Carlo are on separate sides of a building, like two walls, and then there's the corner of the building, and they're creeping closer. After Carlo pushes the killer down some stairs. In a full motorcycle outfit right, and a helmet. Wearing a motorcycle helmet, she falls down the stairs and, and dies. And dies. <laughs> and yeah. dies. Like the <laughs> slowest fall down the stairs ever. <laughs> wearing full gear and a helmet, and she died. You find out it was this model whose name is Patrizia, and she disappears about halfway into the movie, never to be seen again until the reveal of the killer. And it was just not very substantial the motive was so weak it was that her, her her sister had died because of a botched abortion and she was getting revenge on everyone she worked with because I guess she felt like they were responsible when re in reality the only one who was responsible was Carlo 
and herself because they are the ones that, you know, and then got pregnant and Carlo didn't face any consequences. He was one of the two that survived. <laughs> we're trying. We're trying. We're trying to throw the stuff in there for you. We're trying to come up with good stuff, but this movie is just devoid of <laughs> content. We're trying to have content, but this doesn't there is have no... much content. What yeah. we're trying to say is that you, if you're going to go out and get Arrow video, maybe this one's not the one you should start with. Unless you're looking for something to... Kill yourself. Just don't want oh, to yeah. If I had to rate this movie, I would give it a copper. The reason why this movie isn't a straight up coal is because, as I re said earlier, I enjoyed this movie for my own personal arousal here and there. There was some very good looking <laughs> women in it. And that one scene, I know it's a hard jump from the arousal to this scene, but the one scene with the fat dude. <laughs> is, like that movie is, like that, that scene is hilarious, honestly, in my opinion. Like from the whole driving part to the house, like the whole bit. I'm gonna give it a coal. Straight up cold, dude. Straight up cold. I wanted to. I wanted to. There just wasn't anything there. It had no <laughs> substance. It was a complete waste. Like, I was trying to think of something nice to say about this movie or something that they did well. Coal. We're, we're gonna... This is... Coal. Yeah, that, that would be a coal. We're gonna have to go ahead and give this one a coal. Coal. Golden Line of the Week goes to... I'll give you all this money, whatever I have, but promise you'll make love to me, huh? <laughs> Please. Thank you guys so much for watching. You've been real. Have a great, uh... The way that they would make films in Italy back in the day is they would film the f movies with everybody's native language and then dub over it entirely in Italian or English. And so either way is, you could argue, is the proper way to view it. Um, I'm sure that the Italians would disagree. <laughs>